Thank you for making 4CS an integral part of your insect management program. Using the Raven application system to apply 4CS can help you achieve maximum control of corn rootworm and other early season pests. Like much of the equipment that you use on your farm, regular and periodic maintenance of your 4CS application system will help ensure proper operation and effectiveness throughout the season. Following a day's planting, it's important to consider the necessary cleanout procedure. If your planter will be sitting overnight in above freezing temperatures, you should flush your carrier lines downstream of the injection pump on your last pass through the field as shown in this video. If your planter sits idle for more than six hours in sub-freezing temperatures, it will become necessary to take the steps to winterize your system as shown in this video, including disconnecting and storing any leftover product. Use your Force CS cleanout kit to flush any remaining product from the system and add RV antifreeze. It is imperative that you do not expose the insecticide to sub-freezing temperatures and allow it to freeze. When storing your product, whether prior to the planting season or during the planting season, be sure to designate a warm, dry area. This video will identify the critical steps you need to take to prevent most technical issues that could arise while operating your system. When working with the Raven application system, your number one priority should always be safety. When using a pesticide such as 4CS, always wear the proper personal protective equipment and follow safety procedures as outlined on the product label. These items should be worn anytime you're handling 4CS. Procedures that require the additional PPE shown here will be noted later in the video. When working with 4CS and your application equipment, it is very important to dispose of any hazardous materials in a responsible manner. Please follow all state and federal guidelines for proper storage and disposal. After the planting season and prior to storing your planter for the winter, it is important to properly winterize your system. Winterizing your application system consists of removing all excess chemical from the system and filling the system with RV antifreeze. During your last pass through the field, use your system's console to turn off the chemical pump. Press the Product Select button and Product On Off button to turn off Product 2. Then flush your system downstream from the carrier pump and incorporate any residual 4CS into the soil. Turn your system off and depressurize it. Open the flow valve on the carrier pump and leave it open to relieve internal system pressure. Disconnect all 4CS boxes from the cabinet. If you have product left over, be sure to store it according to the product label in order to prevent freezing. Wipe all connectors and spouts with a damp cloth to remove any product residue. If applying 4CS and T-band, inspect the nozzles for clogs, residue, and damage. Clean and replace them as needed. Replace the nozzle caps in order to prevent dirt or other materials from clogging the nozzles during storage. If you're applying 4CS insecticide in furrow, check the application tubes for debris. When using a seed firmer, use only approved seed firmers, as indicated in the Equipment Manufacturer's Manual. Gather your RV antifreeze and 4CS cleanout kit, which you can obtain from your Syngenta representative. Start by connecting your chemical collection container to the cleanout tube. Then, connect the quarter inch tube from your cleanout kit to your system's injection pump. It's important to remove the vent cap to prevent the buildup of pressure in the cleanout container. Connect the quick connect end of the flushing hose to a connector in the cabinet. You'll hear a snap indicating an airtight connection. Place the open end of your system's flushing hose directly in a container of RV antifreeze. With the help of another individual, program your system's console to begin pumping RV antifreeze. With the master switch off, press the power button to turn on the console. Press the data menu twice. Then use the down arrow key to reach the priming screen. Turn on the master switch. Pumping will begin when you press the CE button. Disconnect the flushing hose from the first quadrant and move to the next. Repeat these steps until you have run antifreeze into all of the cabinet lines. Remember to wipe each connector clean with a damp cloth after disconnecting it from the flushing hose. 
Multiple priming sequences will need to be run to fully winterize the system. When you've finished pumping antifreeze, turn the master switch off. Disconnect the RV antifreeze from the flushing hose and store it in a safe location. And store any unused antifreeze in a safe place. A final step in periodic maintenance is to clean inline screens for the chemical pump, carrier pump, and nozzles. These steps require additional PPE. To clean the screens, submerge each screen in a bucket of water. Do not allow the chemical to dry and build up on these screens. If chemical residue builds on these screens, it will become necessary to use an organic solvent and brush to clean them. Failure to do so will cause system errors or alarms. Also, be sure to clean out the flow monitors. When disposing of insecticide or RV antifreeze, be sure to follow all federal and state guidelines for the disposal of hazardous waste. During each planting season, consistent and periodic maintenance to your equipment's key components will help you avoid issues and delays throughout planting. While wearing the required PPE, each and every time you load and unload the insecticide boxes in your planter's cabinet, use a damp cloth to wipe excess product and residue from the cabinet's quick connector tubes and the spout on the product box. Do not allow the chemical to dry on the connecting tubes. Remember to check for drips when connecting and disconnecting the product and immediately wipe them with a damp cloth. Ensure that all of the connections from the application system to the product are secure and airtight. Any unwanted airflow through your system will cause errors or alarms. During planting, if your system is sitting idle for more than three hours, you must flush your system downstream of the carrier pump, just as you would prior to winterization. On your last pass through the field, Turn off Product 2 using the console to flush the system downstream of the carrier pump and incorporate any residual force CS into the soil. If your planter sits idle for more than six hours in sub-freezing temperatures, it will become necessary to take the steps to winterize your system as shown in this video, including disconnecting and storing any leftover product. Use your force CS cleanout kit to flush any remaining product from the system and add RV antifreeze. It is imperative that you do not expose the insecticide to sub-freezing temperatures and allow it to freeze. When storing your product, whether prior to the planting season or during the planting season, be sure to designate a warm, dry area. Your system screens, flow monitor, spray nozzles, and carrier tubes may deteriorate over time with usage. Be sure to inspect them regularly for wear and tear and replace them as needed or according to the manufacturer's guidelines. Following the winterization and regular maintenance described in this video will help keep your equipment running smoothly through the planning season and prepared for use next year.